What did I learn in The Legend of Zelda? What did I learn in The Legend of Zelda? What I learned from The Legend of Zelda? I learned that it's dangerous to go alone, but... You don't have to have any superpowers to, to defeat evil, you don't... That doesn't mean you necessarily need anybody else. I learned that there's a little elf kid. You know, he's kind of like a Robin Hood, Peter Pan kind of guy. Having the right equipment can solve any situation. Look at Link. He uses a sword and shield. His name is Zelda. But yeah, he had a magical sword, but it's not like the sword did all the work for him. He still had to have the skill. He's got sword and shield, which you expect from a general adventurer. Buys a bunch of shit he doesn't really need. Kind of a hoarder, if you ask me. Link used all of the items he had, everything he found. Link has every item under the sun carried around in God knows where to, you know, get through his journey. I mean, everyone's got a sword, but he just had to work. He pretty much worked with what he had. He's got a bow and arrow. He's got slingshots, boomerangs, bombs. Goes into all these dungeons, slays all these monsters, it's all for the glory and the collection. Deku nuts, sticks that he can light on fire. Just goes and just steals all these treasure chests, you know? He can set his arrows on fire, he can freeze people with his arrows. I'm sure those Dodongos needed that, those rupees for something. He's got magic wands, he's got power bracelets. He talks to trees, talks to fairies. Things that up his defense, things that up his offense. Magic powers, Link can do everything. Puts on masks sometimes by a dude who's Kinda of creepy. And his equipment is better than any friend he could ever have. Sometimes he goes off to save the princess. Her name is Link, I've heard. And I will say, he went through some scary shit. Anyway, he goes on all these adventures, and they're all the same Zelda across all the games. If I saw a fucking four foot... They're not different incarnations, they're all the same guy, just, you know... Fucking Skotola. I'm not saying friends are bad. It's nice to have friends. Spider hanging from the ceiling. I mean, look at Link's friends. The first reaction I would have is shit my pants, not slice the motherfucker up. He's got sages. He's got fairies. They're all out to help him. But when it counts, who's in the dungeon? Link. And what can he rely on? I have to give it to Link. I learned about that. His tools. Zelda's an alright guy. You know, he, he helps out everybody in need. But you know, Link did have the courage. He doesn't even wear the same outfit the whole time. Kind of kind of a Peter Pan kind of guy, you know. Take from the rich, give to the poor, except instead of that, he just breaks pots and just takes all the money for himself. He'll, uh, he gets better tunics that add to defense. And that, that can teach you a lot. Courage can take you far. Some that give him specific types of defenses against being underwater, being around extreme heats. Courage can take you far in life. Chainmail, all kinds of stuff. The point is, sometimes I have to wonder, you know, what if Zelda was a girl? When an old man tells you that it's dangerous to go alone, you just have to believe in yourself. It might be wise to take the item he's giving you. Break pots. Chop on your stone line. Don't be afraid of anything. It could mean the difference between life or death. And if you are afraid, just do it anyway. From what I've heard, I've never played a Zelda game in my life. Don't be a pussy. That's what I learned in Legend of Zelda. That's what I learned. Hey everybody, it's the Metal. Thanks for watching what I learned in The Legend of Zelda. Always have fun making it. Tell us what you learned and possibly share this video with your friends. It means a lot if you do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. What else did I learn? Uh, I really like video games. That's what The Legend of Zelda really taught me. I really like video games. It was one of the first games I remember playing as a kid, and after that, man, fell in love with that. I could not stop playing. I think the first, although I did play the original Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past was probably my first one. And man, such fond memories of falling in holes and throwing plants at people and you know, slicing chickens up until I don't want to play the game anymore because I just die too much.